Alright lads, G-Land here, and welcome to another episode of this Football Manager 17 experiment series thing, where I follow the career developments of young players who've shown a little bit of promise. On this week's episode, I'll be following Josh Timon's career. I have downloaded the database update, uh, so he is currently at Stoke because he's just recently transferred there. So he starts off in Stoke on the 23s, got a current ability of 2 stars and a potential ability of 3.5 stars to 4.5 stars. His physical ability looks pretty good, he's got pretty good mentals for a 17 year old, good work rate, good determination, good bravery. His defensive ability is pretty decent as well, 14 marking, 13 tackling, 13 positioning. Good crossing as well, 13, dribbling's 12, so looks like a great player already, but I think it'd be interesting to see how he gets on. This is a player that I've bought in my Villa Thriller series, if you want to check that out up there, shameless plug. I do 15 seasons and then, so we'll simulate the first three seasons. I'll see you in a minute. So after three seasons, he's actually been promoted to Stoke's senior side. 3 star current ability and the potential ability of 3 stars or 4 stars. His physicals have increased quite nicely. So of his mentals, those two look very good. His technicals pretty decent as well. 13 crossing, 13 dribbling. Defensive attributes are very good as well. 50 marking, 15 positioning and 14 tackling. First season at Stoke, he only had two senior appearances. Next season, he went on loan to Leeds, had 44 appearances there with four assists and a 7.18 rating. This season, he's had 27 appearances in the Premiership. Bit of an awful 6.57. Is he good enough for the Premier League? That is the question. So we'll see in the next three seasons and see where he's up to. So at the age of 23, he's still at Stoke. He's currently three and a half star ability, and apparently that's he's reached his potential now at 23 years of age. Physicals looking top notch, mentals looking top notch, and technicals looking pretty decent for a fullback anyway. 16 marking, 16 positioning, 14 tackling, crossing 13, dribbling 13. So good little fullback really. So in terms of playing time. His first season, 29 appearances, 1 goal, 5 player of the matches, with a 7.47 rating. Pretty good. Next season, 31 appearances, 4 assists and 10 player of the match awards. 7.44 rating. Really good season. And the next season, 37 appearances, 4 assists and 7 player of the match awards, with a 7.22 average rating. So, he's really starting to get senior appearances now. He's establishing himself in the Premier League and as you can see there, on an international level, he's gained six caps for England. So it's all looking pretty good for young Josh Timon here. Shall we see if he continues that for the next three years? I'll see you in a minute then. Well, well, well. He's joined Manchester United. I think he's joined quite recently because he's only got 18 appearances there. Physicals looking absolutely amazing. Mentals looking amazing. Technicals looking a bit better than before. Dribbling's gone down a little bit, but crossing's gone up. Defensively amazing. 16 marking, 17 positioning and 14 tackling. 3 star ability. And he's gained 4 caps in 3 years. So yeah, he transferred to United for £37 million in the January, I think it is, because he's only had 18 appearances. So his first season he's had 27 appearances, 1 goal, 1 assist and 4 player of the match awards with a 7.19 average rating. The second season, 28 appearances, 2 assists, 2 player of the match awards and a 7.09 average rating. And the third and final season, 13 appearances for Stoke, no goals, no assists and 1 player of the match award with a 7.24 average rating and with his 37 million pound move to Manchester United he's had 18 appearances so far with one assist and an average rating of 7.44 well he's got his big move at the age of 26 let's see if he can make a decent career out of it then so three years on at the age of 29 he's still at Manchester United 
two and a half star current ability. Physicals looking pretty pretty much the same. Same with the mentals. Same with the physicals, really. I think tackling's gone up by one, so he's looking a really good defensive player with a bit of attacking ability as well. So his first full season at Man United, he has played 31 times with one goal and two assists, one player of the match award, with a 7.14 average rating. His second season, which is probably the best that he's had so far, 28 appearances, one goal, seven assists and eight player of the match at Awards with a 7.54 average rating. And the next season on, he hasn't really played that well, even though he's had more appearances. 33 appearances, one goal, one assist, with a 6.87 average rating. Is that the first time he's gone into the sixes? No, his first full season in the Premier League was a 6.57, so it's his second worst, his second worst season so far. Right. We shall get on to the last three years and join him when he is 32 years old and coming to the end of his career. So Josh Simon, currently 32 years old, two and a half star current ability, he's still at Manchester United. Physicals are still in pretty good shape for a 32 year old. They haven't declined that much. Mentals looking Decent as ever, his, attack, his technical ability has reduced slightly, uh, but his defensive ability is still still solid. Overall, he has gained 20 caps for England. And his last three seasons, the first of which, 29 appearances, 0 goals, 3 assists and 3 player of the match awards with a 7.13 average rating. Second season... 25 appearances, 1 goal, 2 assists and 1 player of the match award with a 7 average rating. And his final season of the experiment, 27 appearances, 0 goals, 0 assists and 1 player of the match award with a 6.78 average rating. Right, we shall see what he has achieved in his career so far. So, he recently won the Premier League with Manchester United. He won it in 2025 as well with Manchester United. He won the EFL Cup with Stoke in 2022. EFL Cup again in 2020 with Stoke again. And he was promoted with Leeds in 2018. So he's won a few trophies in his time, but not on a massive scale. Only won two Premier Leagues. Hasn't won any European trophies or anything like that. But looking back on his career, he's had a pretty good one. Started off at Stoke. Stayed faithful to them until the age of 26 and then moved on to Manchester United where he stayed faithful to them until the age of 32. So he's not really had a journeyman career by any means. Overall, a pretty successful career. It's quite interesting to see. Let's hope he can win a Premier League with Aston Villa on my, on my, uh, my series. If you want to watch it up there, you know, another shameless plug. Okay, so thank you for watching. If you have anyone that you think I should take a look at, just comment down below. I have got a list of players already that I'll be going through week by week. Uh, but it, it, it wouldn't hurt to add some more to that list. So if you have anyone in mind, just pop it down below. I'll see you next week with another instalment of the FM17 Career Development Experiment thing. Don't really have a title for it, but yeah. Well, thank you for watching the video. I'm going to teach you how to be a lad now in two simple steps. Step one, like the video. You know, the little thumbs up thing down below. Yeah, do that. And step two, subscribe to the bloody channel, please. And after those two steps are complete, you are now 100% a lad.